Dude, it is insane to me how often I'll like just talk to people like, like I'll, I'll be at the grocery store, right? Like just checking on my food and they'll be bitching mm -hmm. to their uh, co-workers about how bad the gas prices are. Like everybody mauls at gas. Probably because it's like the one thing, like it's the one struggle that everybody unanimously has to deal with. No matter who you are, if you're somebody who's like over the age of like 17, you have to deal with how ass gas is right now. So it's like something everybody well, I mean, knows about. I mean, unless you have like an electric car. Yeah, I guess, if you're Boblax. <laughs> but then you have to like fucking plug it in and charge it every day. Like Boblax mm -hmm. can't charge his car in his apartment. He has to go out to like a, somewhere else to charge it. Which to me sounds like a pain in the ass, but I don't know. I'd have to ask him about it. To me, that just sounds like a big old hassle. Do you want to get an electric car, Smuggle? If I can make enough money, then yeah, but... Have you thought about I'm, what car you're going to get? I mean, I haven't gone to my license yet, so I'm going to worry about that first, but... Oh, uh, okay. Have you gone to driving school? I actually don't need to because I'm I'm over the age of 18, so... Basically, in Rhode Island, like... If, if you're over the age of 18, all you have to do is, like, read something and then take the driver's test. Well, there's two tests, right? There's the written test, and then there's, like, the actual physical test, right? Yeah, the to, I, I guess, I think, to get your permit, I, I think it was the permit, you don't have to go to, like, the uh, fucking class you would have to go to in high school. You can just take the test automatically and, like, get the permit that way, and then do the, uh driver's test a couple months after. Have you taken your written test yet? I have not, no. Oh, well the written but, um, test is fucking easy, so you're not gonna have any issue with that. The physical test is kind of AIDS though, because the thing about the physical test is they're going to highly criticize you for every little thing you do. So when I took the test, I almost failed it. I, I succeeded the first time. Like I only had to take it once because I succeeded the first time, but I mm -hmm. almost did something that failed me. So I went at a stoplight, right? So. Let me try to explain this. I'm going to draw like an overhead view, right? So here's the okay, fucking yep. road. I'm in my car fucking driving on the road. And there's a fucking stop sign right here. All right. That's the fucking stop right. sign. And then it's another road over here that I need to fucking take a, take a right to turn into. Okay. And this is at the, yep. this is right at the end of the test. Okay. So I stopped my car more like here because I had to stop two times. I had to stop for the stop sign. And I just stopped for the road to look over to make sure I can make a turn. There's no oncom uh, oncoming traffic. So I combined uh, yeah. the two stops, right? That's mm. technically illegal. And I didn't even realize that. I was just thinking in my head. I'm like, all right, whatever. I'll just fucking combine the stops. But technically that's illegal. And it almost disqualified me completely. But my instructor like felt bad for me because he was like, this is kind of retarded. So I'm not really going to like, I'm not going to be an asshole and just own you. But technically, that's bad, so you shouldn't do that. And I'm like, oh, okay, well. Yeah. My driving instructor, he was like, he was literally the man. Like, he was the homie, so. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't mean like, in the sense of like, oh, he like fucking, you know, gave me like special like favors in class over other students. Like, yeah, no, no, he, no. He, he knew your fucking YouTube channel. <laughs> no, 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 nothing like that. But in driving class, like half a class would just be him telling us like stories and shit. Not even really about driving, just like about his life and stuff. And it was kind of mm -hmm. interesting, right? Because really driving school, a lot of it is a massive waste of time. A lot of like the fucking things you learn in class are obvious. Like a lot of driving, like learning how to drive is mostly just common sense, really. It's mostly just yeah. like, don't follow the fucking rules, you know, don't speed, don't drink and drive, you know, a lot of it's the stuff you already know, you know, it's just like, but most of it you're gonna just gonna like learn gradually through experience, really. And so the driving instructor, I honestly, he never said it, obviously, because he's, li he's literally a driving teacher, but I felt like he was self-aware of the fact that a lot of driving class is kind of pointless, it's kind of self-explanatory, really what you need is like the physical experience, not really like the written, you know, fucking shit like that, right? So a lot of class was just him telling us about his fucking life or just telling us funny stories. Yeah, he was the man. So when what I'm saying is in driving class, when you when you like start doing more of it, you're gonna fucking, you know, mm -hmm. the written stuff is gonna be AIDS, but it's gonna be pretty fucking easy for the most part. And then the physical stuff, I mean, do you, are you like nervous like about driving? I mean, I've, I've been driving like a uh, lawnmower for two years, but I, okay. I I know, th I know that's completely different. But yeah, like, yeah, it, but it's like, it gives you like some levels. For me, like when I first drove, like I had like literally no experience in anything. The only slight experience I had was sometimes when I go over to my grandparents' house, like I'll drive like, their four-wheeler through like a field or something, which is like a little bit of experience, but like that happened to me like once before. So it's not like I had like really like any practical idea of it. Stefan Corbino funded $7.80. Driving school should teach basic car maintenance like tight change oil check what each warning lights mean where each different fluid goes 
When I was a car mechanic, I have seen so much awful things. Oh, that's 100% true, dude. Driving school didn't teach you shit about maintenance. That is one thing. Dude, the, driving school is like, they'll teach you about don't drink and drive. And this is what happens when you get, half of driving school is literally just like telling you like, this is what happens if you get really drunk and you die. It's like, okay, well, that's cool and all, but that's obvious. Like, you don't need to tell me why drinking and driving is bad. Most people in class already have experiences with family members who drink and drive. You know what I mean? So they've seen it for themselves. They've seen it personally. It doesn't make any sense. So they should focus on things that are not obvious, you know, like how to maintain your car and stuff like that. I mean, they show you the parts. They tell you what the parts do. But to a group of people that have never driven a car before, telling them what each part does, that doesn't really like tell them anything, you know? If you tell a student who's never driven a car what each part in a car does, the student's just gonna be like, okay, this information is just irrelevant to me. It just goes right past their head. They don't know like why they should care.